just putting the finishing touches on the ceiling fan. This is the PVC pipe I just spray painted so it matches the white color. And this is the corrugated plastic blade set at a 15 degree angle. So here's Turning with a small solar panel, the wind is gone so it's turning by itself. And this is with a 12 volt uh, solar panel. It's a little difficult to do the experiment because suddenly I got a gust of wind. Uh, the wind is still coming but this is how fast the fan would turn it's not really uh, at a very high RPM this is the ceiling fan in my bedroom it's four bladed and I would say it's about four feet in diameter This is the one I just made. This is about two feet, a little over two feet in diameter. Turn really fast. This is just a big fan moving the little fan. I don't need it to be like that. That will be blowing a lot of wind. This is just moving at a slow, leisurely pace. I finally hung this ceiling fan on the ceiling there. I made it so it can be USB powered. Right now I just plugged it into my USB port. But it can also be plugged into a small power pack like this. Or a 12 volt uh, CO-LED acid battery like this. Or with a solar panel. I don't have the afternoon sun yet so I can't really test it. Right now it's plugged into USB port. The fan is designed to be slow turning so it really doesn't move a lot of air. It's gonna it's not gonna blow any paper away, it just moves a small amount of air like that. You can see the paper barely moving. And that's how I wanted it. That's how I wanted it. I don't really want it to start blowing things off my desk. I just want some small circulation. And actually this fan here is more powerful. This is a about 3 inch 80 mm computer fan. This is very directional. Whereas this one is like moves there in the general area. So this is about the speed that I hope it can move and I will be happy with that. If you want it to move a lot of air you have to make it slightly bigger maybe three feet in di diameter maybe, and maybe three or four blades. This one is just uh, two blades and about 27 inches in diameter. I'm going to run it for a while, an hour or two, and check to see if the motor gets warm or not. So that's it for now.